And then Ivan Bob here, hi. If a guy has a few bad performances in the bedroom, it's only natural for him to start wondering what could be behind it. Many guys start wondering, is it performance anxiety or something else? Or could it perhaps be porn-induced ED? How do I know? Well, if this is you, then make sure to stay with me to the end of this video because I'm going to give you a few things to consider here. But first, the always appreciated disclaimer. This video is information only and it's not medical advice. If you need medical advice, please see a professional. I will simply share my own experience, information about what I've been reading and a few logical ways to look at the situation. But again, my video is not medical advice. Alright, so let's check this out. This image here represents you being intimate with a real life partner. And this image right here represents porn free masturbation that you do, for example, in the bathroom. And this image right here represents you masturbating to porn. And over here we will look at the conclusions. Okay, so let's say you have been failing to get hard with a real life person here. Then test your erection quality by masturbating to your favorite porn. Now hold on a second here. I don't want anyone who is trying to reboot to relapse here. So instead of testing that, you can also just recall the last relapse you had or the last time you masturbated to porn. Okay, so let's say you were able to get a solid erection when fapping to porn. So we check this section here. Then what you want to do next is to try porn free masturbation. Go to the bathroom, relax as much as you can and try porn free masturbation to sensation only. Don't fantasize about porn. In fact, try to not use your imagination at all. Sensation only. Okay, so let's say you fail to get hard in this scenario. Well, now this is starting to look a bit like porn induced ED because it looks like you need the porn in order to get hard. Now, most men who are not that old should not have any problems achieving an erection with masturbation only if they are otherwise healthy. However, there are exceptions to this and I'll talk more about those in just a moment. So stay with me here. Now, what about if you fail this one, but you can get hard with porn? You try the bathroom as well and you find that you can also get hard with porn free masturbation. Okay, so this is a very good sign. At the very least you are not dependent on the porn in order to get hard. So now your failed attempt in the bedroom is starting to look a bit more like performance anxiety in the bedroom. Now. What if you can't get hard in any of these three cases? Well, then it looks more like an organic problem. Like for example, clogged arteries, severe depression or some other health problems. Or then it could also be severe porn induced ED. You see, some guys develop such a degree of desensitization that not even porn can turn them on any longer. Now with this one here, you should definitely see a doctor to see if you can rule out any serious health conditions. And here's where many naysayers who don't believe that there's such a thing as porn addiction go wrong. You see, studies show that there has been an enormous rise in ED in young men the last 15 years or so. Well, then the skeptics go, yeah, yeah, but that's just because today's young men are not moving. They are just playing video games. They have low testosterone and they are smoking too much. Yes, of course, that may be the case in some cases as well. But here's the thing. First, it takes years of smoking until, for example, clogged arteries start to manifest. And if, for example, clogged arteries were the main cause of that extreme rise in youthful ED, then most of these young men would not be able to still achieve an erection to porn. Why? <laughs> well, just think about it. Clogged arteries don't just magically disappear when you fire up a porn site. And the same goes with most other health issues as well. They don't just suddenly disappear when you fire up Pornhub. And in most cases of ED in young men, this is exactly what they are experiencing. That they can only achieve a boner when using porn. In other words, they are dependent on it in order to get hard. 
However, listen carefully now because while this test may give you at least some things to consider, it is still far from perfect. Let's for example say that you run into your bathroom in order to perform the test. But while you're there, you are freaking out like crazy. You're so anxious about the results that you're having an anxiety attack. Well, obviously that might prevent you from achieving an erection right there because, well, anxiety is anxiety. So the effect could be just like the performance anxiety in the bedroom scenario. The solution here is to try it several times on days you are more relaxed. Another scenario might be if you are severely depressed. Well, if you are, then your dopamine levels are most likely going to be low. And since dopamine is one of the key drivers behind powering erections, then perhaps when trying the porn-free masturbation, you just don't really reach that level of dopamine you need in order to get hard. But since porn is very stimulating, then when you try testing with that, you just barely reach the level needed to get hard and then boom you achieve an erection. So again as you can see this test is not 100% reliable and this is why it's always a good idea to see a doctor to rule out any potential health issues mentally, physically, hormonally or something else. Now what about if you easily can get hard in the bathroom? Is that a clear sign that you do not have PIED or that you have fully recovered? Well, unfortunately not. While it's a super good sign, some guys might still have a bit of lingering PIED here. And so now some of you say, but how can that be? They can get hard without porn. <laughs> well, good question. And here's the deal. Your brain has been conditioned to respond to this equation for so long. Porn plus hand equals erection. Porn plus hand equals erection. Well, it has been conditioned to respond to that for so long that it may still be that just using your hand may perhaps still fire up some of the old porn pathways. You know, just like Pavlov's dog was conditioned to salivate when he heard the bell ringing. Well, you too have conditioned your sexual responses. But again, being able to easily get a solid erection there in the bathroom is indeed a very good sign. And if you find that you still have some mild PIED after that, then don't worry. Then it might just be a matter of a tiny bit more rebooting with rewiring to a real life person and you'll be 100% good to go. In fact, you may already be good to go. You see, here's the last thing about this. It is indeed very likely to have a combination of performance anxiety and mild PIED as well. I mean, it's very understandable that after guys have failed a few times in the bedroom, well then naturally many of them could get a bit anxious about failing again in the future. That's just bloody obvious. So ultimately, the absolute 100% dead giveaway that you are fully rebooted and free from PIED will be when you have successful intercourse with a real life person. But still, the test I shared today should at least be able to give you a bit more clarity and I really hope it was helpful for you. Alright? And I think most of you already know how to fix PIED should you be suffering with that. But if you need some step-by-step -step advice where I share my experience, then you can find a link to a blog post I made on exactly how to do it the fastest and most effective way. Just click the link under the video where it says blog post and you'll find it there. This is Scandinavian Bob signing out for today. Consider subscribing for more helpful videos and as always, I wish you all the best on your journey to become the strongest version of yourself.